It's week 107 of Zero, so I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So it is week 107 for Zer, and this is the final Zer for Destiny 2 Forsaken. But before we get into the video, if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more Destiny 2 content as soon as it's released, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It's a growing LFG community where content creators and streamers can also post all of their Destiny 2 videos as well as when they go live. So, Zer is located on IO. Haven't been here in a while. And he is located by the Giant Scar. So let's go see what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Vigilance Wing. It's an exotic pulse rifle. Then we have the Lucky Pants for the Hunter. Nezarak Sin for the Warlock. As well as the Helm of Sade 14 for the Titans. We are going to go ahead and start with the Weapon of the Week first. Treasure perk on this is Harsh Truths, which gives you a 5-round burst, heals on ally death. Then we have Core Screw Rifling, Alloy Magazine, as well as Last Stand, which improves weapon performance and greatly increased recovery when its wielder is the last living member of a fire team. And then we have Composite Stock. Now, it also does have three different ornaments, however, these ornaments do not come with it. First one we have is Book of the Dead. And that's what it looks like. It's pretty, I actually like it. It looks pretty cool. Then we have Heaven's Vigil. And then the ornament for Saint-14 himself. Vigil for Saint-14. It actually looks pretty badass. So if you guys do not have this, go ahead and purchase it. It is a good uh, pulse rifle for PvE as well as PvP. Even though the meta is kind of swaying a certain way right now, come Shadow Keep, this might even get a little bit better. So if you guys don't have one, go ahead and grab one. Um, as for PvE, it, it just slays. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this a tier 2.5 in PvP at the moment. And a tier 2 in PvE. But this will change when Shadow Keep actually goes live and the new sandbox changes come into effect. Next, we have the Lucky Pants. In terms of perk on this, is a legally modded holster, which... Precision hits load a round to stowed hand cannons. Then we have our perpetuation, traction, oversized weapon dexterity, hand cannon scavenger, as well as submachine gun scavenger. And this also has an ornament called Deep Pockets. That's what it looks like. Kind of makes you look like a little Western. Now, this is an okay exotic. It is not top tier um, in PvE or PvP. I don't ever remember hearing everyone, someone ever saying, I gotta go get a Lucky Pants, because this thing is amazing. Never. So, I'm probably gonna go ahead and give this a tier 3.5 to even a tier 4 in both PvE as well as PvP. Next, we have the Nazarek Sin. Or the Void Walker. Oh, uh, Void Walkers. Void Walker? Yeah. <laughs> and the terms of perk on this is Abysmal Extractors, uh, which Void kills increased ability regen. Then we have Machine Gun Targeting, Energy Weapon Targeting, Precision Weapon Targeting, Rocket Launcher Reserves, as well as Sniper Rifle Reserves. And the ornament for this is called Afraid of the Dark. I actually like the ornament a lot better than the original. I don't know, it actually makes you look pretty badass. So, if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It's definitely a good exotic for your uh, Void Warlock. So, yeah, definitely go ahead and grab it because it's definitely good. 
So anyways, it's going to get a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Next and finally, we have the Hemosade 14. Turn to perk on this is Starless Knight, which Word of Dawn blinds enemies and grants overshield. Guarding blinds. Then we have Heavy Lifting, Hands-On, Kinetic Weapon Targeting, as well as Rocket Launcher Reserves, and Shotgun Reserves. And this does not have an ornament, which is actually kind of uh, sad. If you do not have this, go ahead and grab it as great in PvE as well as PvP, and it will only get better with Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. So definitely go ahead and purchase this if you do not have one already. Now, real quick, all exotic armor will have a armor 2.0 version in the vault for you come Shadow Keep. I'll say it again come shadow key so if you don't have one of these go ahead and grab it anyways that way you can pull it from um not the vault i'm sorry collections that way you can pull it from collections and it would already be a armor 2.0 version of it so do that now as for weapons weapons don't get armor 2.0 hence armor 2.0 so if you guys do not have one of these go ahead and grab these first before popping your faded engram because you do have a chance to get one of these inside your faded engram and you don't want that uh you don't want to be like these spikes ever at all it's very very sad what happens to him anyways next we have your consumables which is your nightfall challenge card as well as your invitations if you still have this and then like i did say the faded engram if you guys um have exotics out there that you need that isn't tied to a quest or a specific area. So my friends, this is going to be my very last, I'll say it again, my very last Destiny 2 Forsaken video. So, when I come back in Shadowkeep, I will have a semi new layout for how I do videos, and it's going to be a lot faster that way it gets you guys the uh, information that you want sooner. And hopefully uh, you guys like the new format of the videos. But we'll see how everything goes. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you soon as soon as Shadowkeep is released. And I will see you guys in the next video.